Hey everyone, welcome to another easy way tutorial. Today I'm going to cover basic intro to GarageBand. So when GarageBand opens, it opens with a new project. Uh, and these are all different templates that you can choose uh, depending on the project that you're going to be working on. Today I'm just going to do a brief intro uh, to GarageBand. So I'm just going to stick with the piano and click choose. So the next window is where you're going to be saving your project. Uh, by default, GarageBand saves it to your music folder, which is a good place. Uh, and then you'll just want to rename your song. Then you're going to want to change some of your song settings in this area here before you get started. So the tempo or the beat per minute is going to determine the speed of your song, how fast or how slow it is. Your time signature, whether it's 3-4, 4-4, uh, can all be chosen here. And then you can choose the key of your song with this drop down menu here and whether it's major or minor. So if you don't know what your song is yet or if you just want to start making some music, uh, I recommend just leaving everything the same here and then click create. So now we're in GarageBand ready to make some music and it starts with a grand piano track as our first track. And this is where we can start recording and playing some music. So if you don't have a keyboard connected to your computer, uh, don't worry, there is an option. Under Window, you can go to Keyboard, and it'll pull up this virtual keyboard that you can use your mouse and pointer. And use your pointer to create music that way, which will be difficult but can still be done. Uh, or, if you want, you can click this button here and use your musical typing. So now you can hit keys on your keyboard. which is a little easier to play that way. Um, so again, some options if you don't have a keyboard plugged in. So if you do have a USB keyboard, GarageBand will recognize it uh, and you'll be able to use it right away once you open GarageBand. So by default, it's pick grand piano. So that's the sound we're hearing when we hit the note on the piano. And as you can see in our level meter here, when I hit the note, it's showing that we have sound, which is good. So down at the bottom is your transport bar uh, with your play record buttons and also your metronome button. It's selected because it's blue here. The metronome will play to the tempo of your song that you started with uh, when you created your project. So you'll hear a little click in the background when you're playing your music so you know where the tempo is. So you may or may not want that on uh, when you record. And then simply just hit record and you're ready to play.